Yo, what's going on, YouTube fam? This is your boy J Money here, and I'm bringing you guys a uh, rather interesting uh, topic for discussion and all this stuff. And it goes, you know, and it all goes hand in hand with something I ended up calling a long time ago. Well, not a long time ago. I called this about a couple weeks ago. But, you know, I'm playing a multitude of different decks. And, you know, what I'm about to show you is just. Ooh, man. It's harder and harder to make videos when this is all that we end up coming across, you know? Like, I told you, I told you guys, like, weeks ago, I told you this is going to be the format. People said, oh, the ban list didn't do anything and the format is essentially the same. That was completely incorrect. Quite literally, like, every time I get on Dueling Book, and again, this is just all from one day. Like, every day I've been getting on, it's literally been the exact same thing. It's been Sky Striker, Sky Striker, Sky Striker, Sky Striker, um, Ultra Guys, Ultra Guys, Ultra Guys, True Draco, True Draco, maybe a random Trickstar, maybe a random BA, and then you get Paleo, and then you get Inspector Border Stun, and then you get more Sky Striker, and then you get more Ultra Guys, and more Draco. It is just like there's no Goki. Like, there's no, like, there's a little, I, I called it, I literally said I, it, at least a month ago that, you know, with this new ban list, it's just going to do nothing but support back row decks. It is literally, it is literally all I continue to go against uh, over and over again. There's a lot, you know, I want to go into, so, you know, I'm not going to, you know, go through absolutely everything, but, you know, just showing you the absolute disgust I have with this format. Like, it's like, it's, this format is just so uninteresting because, because of all the back row. Like, you know, yeah, it, you know, there's a little bias here and there. I've never liked back row. I never liked floodgate dot decks. Every deck is playing floodgates. You know, everybody's just main decking three shared rides. Just try max to see uh, your opponent out of playing Yu-Gi-Oh. You know, everybody's main decking Joel Lockbird. You know, everybody's main decking, like, 10, 12, 15 trap cards in every deck and or spell cards if you're playing just Sky Strikers. Uh, this one's irrelevant. Um, both of that are pretty good. But you know, I'm playing a lot of decks. You know, as you can see here, I, you know, I think I had a 60 card Danger Phantom Knight Burning Abyss deck going because, you know, I'm trying to test out the new Phantom Knight Link Monster. Um, have to have it at 60 cards because I don't have enough, you know, I wish I had like 65, 70 spaces, really. And okay, yeah. So it's just it's just another Sky Striker person, you know. It's 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 literally the same thing. It's it's literally copy paste. And you know, as you know, as people see, the banning of Goblin did a lot more than people may have realized. Now you're not seeing any combo deck. This is literally just all back row. Now, you know, you would say this deck is kind of like a back rowish deck, but the only things I'm playing is, like, Anti-Spell and, you know, Fog Blade, and that's it. And, yeah, no, of course, that guy's playing... I think he was playing Paleo? I'm not sure. But it's just more just set five. That's all it's been. That's literally all it's been is just set, 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 set. And I don't know. Like, I hate formats like this. Because it's like, oh, and there's my first Thunder Dragon. There's my first, like, non-Floodgate dot deck matchup. It took, like, it took, like, eight matches. Like, it's insane how I have to go through this much just to play a non-Floodgate dot deck. Or a non-just helmet back row deck or whatever. You know? And, yeah, of course, you know, when you're seeing the decks I'm playing, yeah, I'm playing Rogue, sure. You know, so, you know, I know what I sign up for when I play, you know, with rogue decks and things like that. But, you know, it's just the principle of the fact that literally every deck that I'm going against, even if I was playing meta, like literally every deck I go against is just at least setting three. At the very least, they're setting three cards. And it's like the most annoying thing in the world. Like, Floodgate Dot decks are far from fun. You know, they're... You know, they're the sole reason why duels go into time in the first place. You know, people think that it's, you know, oh, it's the combo decks that take 10 to 15 minutes, when in reality, it's really the floodgate dot decks, and just 
how they're designed to just slow down the game. They slow down the game to a point to where you spend like 25 minutes game one because you're trying to outgrind and try and get that lead game one. Or if you're smart enough, you'll just scoop game one so you don't waste all that time and just side like the Krees, Dankos, main deck twin twisters and sometimes you still won't even open that stuff. Look at this. Look, every freaking match. Every match is just back row, back row, back row, back row. And it's just, uh, I, I, yeah, I don't, you see, I know people don't like formats with, like, all combo decks, but setting five is, like, I'll take, you know, a big board full of monsters than decks that set five any day of the week. Because any deck that sets five probably has a floodgate, probably he's got a rivalry of warlords, a skill drain, a goes and match, a there can only be one, something. They have something to just stop you from playing Yu-Gi-Oh! How you're intended to play Yu-Gi-Oh! See, look at this! Look at this! Ugh! Ugh, how is this fun? How is playing against this stuff fun? Shoot, if this is a board of monsters, I could actually interact with my opponent. It's like there's no interaction here. Granted, the inspector border was a smart side on his part. I'm not going to take that away from him, but come on. Like, you can't tell me that it takes skill to do this. You literally just strap on the helmet and have fun. And, of course, you know, you got that ass. You know, he's playing Ash in a back row deck. You know, it's whatever. But... You know, we're going to do some even more matches. I'm switching back and forth between that BA deck and uh, Necroz. Because uh, Necroz is something I really want to start playing. Especially now with the uh, new incantations, even though I'm clearly banned. Uh, I might go to Locals today and uh, get a live game going since it's uh, Saturday. So, yo, with that being said, um, I'm, you know, if I can get the new incantations, I will definitely play Necroz. And all that good stuff, but ooh, like I told you, the moment that man list hit and everything, I was, you know, ah, uh, I told you, I was like, you know what, it sucks being banned from the game, but at the same time, if like I'm mm -hmm. like, I, I even said, I was like, be this is the time to, to be banned because it's like I said, I even said, I'm not going to be excited. If every single match is going to be against decks that set five. And, and this is all I'm running into. Look, I am still have yet to play against Gokis. Still. Well, look at this. Hey, look, we don't have a Floodgate Dot deck. We got Dinosaurs. This is okay. I'll take it. Anything to get people off of Floodgates. And off of all these set, 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 set. And just, you know, sit on your ass and just chill. Oh my god. See, I'll, I'll take this. This is what I like to go against. I'll take this any day of the week. I'll take it. This is what this is what I like to do. I like to break boards. And all that stuff. It's just like, man, it gets to the point to where it's just like, do I have to main deck Denko Seka? Do I have to main deck, like, Hatronades? Do I have to main deck Twin Twisters? Like, do I have to main deck this stuff? And then you got, like, every other player main decking Shared Ride. Now, because, well, it's max C, of course. Because anything that allows your opponent to have a theoretical um, option to have unlimited advantage is not too broken at all. No, not, not at all. You know, but, you know, it's whatever. See, this will actually play out because this is something I actually like to see. You know, the, the whole back and forth thing. There's no, you know, just monsters, you know duking it out, you know, using their monster effects to get the edge over the other, trying to outplay the other person. Like, you can't outplay back row, that's a problem. You can't outplay floodgates. You know, floodgates are something that, oh, you can't play around them because, well, they're just making you play a certain way. Especially if it's like a bunch of trap cards. This guy playing Goose Off Max, I don't know why, but, you know, it's whatevs. You know, I assume Dinosaur's extra decks were, like, really, really tight. But, uh, yeah, it's what else. We got this, and look, I literally lose because Joel Lockbird. But, of course, you know, you know, of course the deck I play loses to Droll. I mean, that's, you know, that's, uh, that's nothing new, because literally my whole deck searches. 
as you've probably seen over and over and over again. But, you know, like I said, the problem with Joel is if you can do a turn zero, then this happens. Then you literally will just get stomped on by any fast deck because fast decks can use it because, well, surprise, surprise, Joel does not take setup. It does not require you to take a turn before you lock your opponent from accessing their deck. You can just deny them from accessing their deck turn zero and your opponent and your turn is over and, and I'm just going to OTK you exactly how that just went down. But again, I am playing a deck that is very search reliant, but a lot of decks are search reliant. Even a deck like this, I think this was true Dracos, but you know, I just, I'm just like, see, look, look at the comment I make right here. Just more floodgate dot decks, you know, <sighs> and he calls a judge immediately just trying to cheese out a win. But you know, at this, see, the guy didn't know why I was so frustrated. But, I mean, you could obviously see from like the 15 different matches that I was just playing. It's just like, come on, can I please just play against a combo deck for once? Can I please play against something that doesn't like to set five? And then I get my wish. I'm like, all right, cool. But I forgot Thunder Dragons are now a thing and my whole deck searches. So I literally have to either A, play Kaijus or B, draw a Ritual Monster and Ritual Spell. And that's what I do. I draw Colossalus and uh, get that Millennium Eye so I can guarantee turn off the Super Bolt and he plays in permanence and I'm like, oh, you bastard, fuck you. Um, so I go first. And I'm like, okay, we're going to drop this Unicorn on the board, and he's not going to get anywhere with his uh, Thunder Dragons because, well, he's playing an extra deck, and Unicorn is a win condition against anything that has an extra deck, except Sky Strikers because their win condition is their spell cards and not their extra deck. So this guy, I don't know why he, okay, he went into Titan, so I'm like, okay, uh, activate the Size of Armor? Hey, yeah. You go Super Bowl, and I'm like, fuck. I probably should have valked him and then saved the uh, the other thing. But of course, fucking Floodgates. Even a deck like Thunder Dragon that already has a Floodgate monster in its deck is playing Floodgates. Go figure. Yeah, that's something else they need to do. They need to really do something about Floodgates. You know, Floodgate, if, if all these Link monsters are consistently getting hit, Floodgates should not have free reign at three copies a piece. So you shouldn't have, you know, three goes in, three rivalry, three, there can only be ones, you know, three anti spells and pure orders. They, there shouldn't be all this. All this shouldn't be a thing. You know, these should make floodgates really consistent. Like, I mean, there's a reason cards like skill drain is at one and vanity's emptiness is banned and oppression is banned because, well, they kind of stop you from playing Yu-Gi-Oh in a sense, but it's just like, but how in the sense, like, in what way is rivalry different from skill drain? You're still denying your opponent of monster effects because you're denying them of putting multiple things on the board, you know, to activate all these different effects because you can only control one type or one attribute if it's goes and match. And, uh, there's like the one trick star, but you know, it's still set three dot deck, so. You know, who, who cares? You know, he goes Candini, still getting his reincarnations, just to try and punish me and all that. And he goes Cerberus. I'm like, okay, sure, that that's fine. Still gets his Licorice. And, you know, we go in. You know, we get our Unicorn. Of course, Shared Ride, because everybody's main decking three copies of Shared Ride, because fuck Maxi. And all that, and, you know. It, it really sucks how, you know, your opponent can just freely just establish free advantage off of you just playing Yu-Gi-Oh. Like, it's really sad how that can happen. You know, I think I, I think I get him here. Oh, no, no. Uh, yeah, that's right. He draws, but I had, um, you know, Call by the Grave. But, of course, I meet a uh, Dark Hole at the end of it all. And, uh, well, that's, that, that's game. That's, that's clearly game. Like, there's nothing I can do there. Like, Dark Hole, I'm like, I haven't seen that shit since Nom. But, you know what? It's a card. Um, Raigeki, Dark Hole. I don't know why he was even using him, honestly, because everybody's playing back row. And this guy playing fucking Metaphys, another Floodgate.deck. 
just ugh. Oh, I'm tired of floodgates. Literally, like, I'm literally, I'm not even cherry picking. This is literally just match after match after match. Look at this, we're 15 minutes in, and I'm going through these things pretty quick. I'm not even finishing them all, and it's just, like, you see, you see why I'm not even having fun playing Yu-Gi-Oh! right now. And look at that, Macro Cosmos. Had to nuke that shit before I can even start playing Yu-Gi-Oh! And look at that, oh man, DDR, or DD, oh, DDG, Different Dimension Ground, more floodgates, but it's a one-turn floodgate, so that's okay, I'll, I'll give it that, you know, it only lasts a turn, but I could last a turn, so look at that, Macro, now he followed up with fucking Defizzer, I'm like, man, when are the floodgates gonna just stop hitting the board? I was like, okay, now, now, now this is just getting really silly. Now it's just getting silly to the point to where it's just like, come on, man. Like, come on, seriously. I send that and I drop the Gunganeer. Gunganeer just so I can nuke the freaking... Nuke that shit. So let's go ahead and smack him. And, you know, Metaphys doing Metaphys things. Of course, you know, he doesn't use his extra deck, so... Necroz isn't really that good against a deck like that, especially since you're playing Banish cards. You're playing fucking Macro Cosmos and stuff like that. And so, you know what? I just decided I don't even want to play game two out. This is like, it's just, it's just gonna, all it's gonna do is just annoy me. Just, even if I win, it's just gonna be really annoying. Okay, with well, this one, I just leave. I leave almost immediately. I think I was playing the Phantom Knight BA deck. Nope, Necroz actually. Oh, what is this? Oh, Thunder Dragons. That's what it was, but I immediately lost that game because I didn't have a ritual spell to summon this Trishula. And so I immediately gave him that game. And, you know. Oh, uh, do I come back? No, I think I just wait to draw a ritual spell and I don't see it, so, you know. Oh, yeah, Call by the Grave the Super Bolt. So I can actually play Yu Gi Oh! That's how that happened. Alright, so I go bam bam. You know, I get my unicorn. And I drop my unicorn. And I go for the Herald. He called by the Graves at. I'm like, ooh. Even if called by the Graves at 2, it's still seen way too much. Like, you still see called by the Graves like every fucking hand. Like, I love it, but I hate it sometimes. It's like, I, I feel like I'm forced to play hand traps just to eat my opponent's call by the grave so I don't, so my main combo pieces, my combo strategy doesn't get affected by call. You know, that might be what I uh, might end up doing. And I might main deck Denko because all the back row. So I think I've counted, let's say, two Thunder Dragons, one Dinosaur, and I think those are the only non back row heavy decks that I played. And like quite literally, look, just more Sky Strikers, even more set, 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 set. Now this one, I don't know what was going on here. He must have just really bricked, because he he's not having a good time it seems. But I do win this game, so I call by the grave that because fuck hand traps. He would anchors the search, and he attempts to take. So I'm like, okay, that's that's cool. So I get my own call by the grave, multi roll, main deck goes soakers, guys. Multi roll is just stupid. And same thing with protocol and spoofing. So yeah, main deck those ghost ogres, guys. Uh, ghost ogres, and let's start just main decking Denko Seka, everybody, because fuck back row. And then that'll cause everybody to just shotgun everything over again. Um, I, I'm pretty sure I win this game. Because I ended up banishing two of his Widow Anchors already, and I think I managed to banish the third one, so he can't continuously Widow Anchor me over and over. Or I think I just bled, I just outgrinded him and just bled him out of resources. Because as you can see, he's multi rolling every time. He doesn't have an engage, and like he's constantly setting, so he can try constantly try to keep me disrupted. But everything's getting banished and. I'm summoning Trish, and I got called by the Graves multiple times, continuously getting his rays out of the grave. And it's just something, he just, just couldn't keep up, you know? He's got this, and he goes and draws, and now he activates engaged and gets Shark Cannon, but it's just like, 
He can't do anything. That's a problem. Look at this. He widow anchors everything. And I'm like, you can't summon my Valk. And then he summoned my incantation, but I'm like, you can't go into your extra deck. So, you know, what are you doing? So, yeah, he loses. And I go ahead, you know. I draw a Kaiju and I draw Danko. Opening hand, which is really good. Like, that's pretty good. So it's like, I, I can Danko him now, do some damage. And then when he, when he does out the Danko, because it's like, oh, I know he will. He has multi roll and he has the field spell. Then I can Kaiju and still protect myself from getting Widow anchored over and over again. And, uh, well, that would have been that. You know, there we go. We got the Danko. And we got, you know, the Necroz stuff. You know, we get, we're going in. I think we summon Trish. I'm not sure. Um, let's see. Okay, we get the Ritual spell. We get Brio. We get Ariel. Priestess of the Necroz. Okay, we get that. We get the search. And we get in that draw too. And we search in some more. And we draw in some more. Yeah, fuck drawing Lockbird. <laughs> and, like, I think one of his set cards was Shared Ride too. But he just couldn't flip it over because he didn't know I had Denko and all that stuff so we all know at this point it was over and well yeah you know the rest so I hope you guys you know learn something here and you know and you know for those of you who are wondering why I'm not posting regularly you know this is one of the main reasons why right here because just of all the back row it is just, it's so annoying. It is the most annoying thing to just come across. It, 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 it's stupid. It's, it's, I hate back row. And yeah, it's biased, but I guarantee you a lot of other people uh, feel the same way as well. Oh yeah, this is what I'm playing Chaos Dragons. But hey, look, Sky Strikers, go figure. But this is a good, this is, I had a good hand too, but I had a date. So I had to leave here, you know. So I end up telling the guy, yeah, sorry, man, I gotta go. You know, this is awesome, but no. No, oh, man. But, you know, just just show you. Like, Chaos Dragon Liviona is awesome, especially if you get Melody. If you get Melody, the Awakening Dragon, you just won. Like, you, get, you can search those things. You search two of them. Shooting Riser Dragons, you know, send the snow. You know, make Curios, you know, send your... Wolf and summon this and you're mailing some more cards and Nicholas Wyvern for Leviona and I go snow and I'm like alright grab Leviona grab Red MD make Minerva and I think I hear yeah I had to go because I had the date but <sighs> yeah so this is what I have to deal with every single time I get on dueling book and all that and I guarantee you it will be the exact same way um, if I end up going to locals today so you know, it's just, you know, this format is just something I'm not excited to play in. Yeah, there's new product, but, ah, oh, the format, just so many back row. Ah, oh, man, it, it, it's, <sighs> Thank you guys very much for watching. This is Jay Money, and I'm signing out.